traffic while we continue to follow this breaking news out here. And I actually do want to show you some video that we have seen posted online as the floodwaters have continued to ravage properties over the last couple of days. So this footage shows amounts of water flowing down the streets of Langenberg in Germany. It is actually a quarter in the city of Velbert, and it's flowing into properties and establishments, as you can see, surrounding vehicles out there. You can actually even see a person standing on his roof. Local news reported that the power in Langenberg had been switched off. Flooding was also observed in the Netherlands and Belgium where we have learned in that specific area now around 43 people have died between Belgium and Germany. We've also got this very, very sad video, yet heroic. This footage was filmed in Trier, or Trier, pardon me. I actually have never been to uh, Germany, but this is where road closures and evacuations were ordered out there. Again, you can just see how high the water is out there. Flooding again was also observed in the Netherlands and Belgium, but specifically here you can see firefighters trying to rescue residents from their windows and trying to get everybody to safety as quick and efficiently as possible. So again, that is some video that was posted to the internet over the last 24 hours, but I do want to let you know that again, we've got several vantage points of Germany right now here on Live Now from Fox. Again, everybody, this is what we do. This is what our show is all about, taking you to these live bumps, as we like to call them, showing you all of the breaking news that we are following each and every morning. So. We will continue to keep you updated on this situation out there in Europe. Again, Germany not the only one seeing high flood waters over the last couple of days. It's been reported in Belgium. It's been reported in London. So, again, keeping tabs on weather conditions out there, everybody.